Hi there. Well, I'd do something a little different today. I uh, I just got my DE0 Nano board in the mail. Um, yeah, this is up there. Uh, I'm all the way from Taiwan. I had a little trouble with FedEx. Um, you see, when uh, when you're waiting for FedEx, and they uh, you wait waiting and waiting, it's supposed to like not as bad as the cable company, or be there before five o'clock they say. But the second you step out of your house and turn the corner, they turn up and they stick a tag on your door. Well, this happened Thursday and Friday of last week, and uh, and they were going to ship it back to Taiwan if I didn't pick it up within the week. So I begged them; they uh, agreed to uh, reship it to me uh, on Tuesday because Monday was the holiday, and. Um, yeah, and today is Thursday. I've not opened this yet. I've been uh, holding off until I got a chance to, to do some videoing. And uh, so, let's have a go. I uh, said I think new. I'm not really um, <clears throat> not really a fan of openings, but some people like them. And I don't like them because I'm usually jealous about what people get. SI hmm, solutions to the embedded market. I don't know what that's called. The Ezeo Nano CD ROM. I must have the schematics and demo code on it. Altera uh, Complete Design Suite. So, yeah, so this is Quarters 2 Web Edition. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Version 13, but I'm already running a slightly newer version. I download and keep mine up to date. Which unfortunately it doesn't support the old DE1 board which I have. Uh, I might go and get that before I finish this video and bring it down. Uh, it's just pamphlets. Um, DE0 Nano Quick Start. Tells you all about it. It's got an accelerometer on it. Uh, configuration device, LEDs, some switches, it's mainly it's mainly I.O. on it, it's just not designed as a, uh, <coughs> sorry, as an example board to show your features and stuff, it's for those that are pretty much comfortable with the, uh, the Altera type devices, like this is a Cyclone 4 on here, my uh, DE2 board's got a Cyclone 2 on it. Sorry, DE1 board's got a Cyclone 2 on it. DE2 board's got a Cyclone 3. I don't have one of those. I borrowed one from the college for uh, for a few months, a couple of years back. And, uh, yeah. It was nice. It had a TV decoder on it, too. Okay. Ooh. That's sexy. E zero nano. Oh. Can I get my fingers in there? It's not for people with fat fingers. And there's the DAC down there and fifty megahertz clock. <clears throat> FTDI. Oh, okay. I was wondering where the CPLD was for the um, the USB bite blight blaster or whatever it's called. So there's the uh, CPLD for that right there. I ain't, I'm not touching it because I don't want to kill it with static or anything. But yeah, that's a nifty little board. You'll be seeing some uh, <coughs> some projects and videos based on that in the coming few months. They also sent a 
put all the cable. Hmm. That's kind of handy. <clears throat> Anything else in the box? No. Oh, couldn't they put money in the box for me? That'd have been nice. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's a nice little uh, little board. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll come right back and I will uh, compare it to the DE1. Okay, I went upstairs and I have grabbed my uh, DE1 board. So let me just put this away. Without that thing going in safely, just the main board. I've got a ton of USB cables, so I'll put that aside now. This is my DE1 board. This is the it was originally inside another box. Uh, I, I usually keep my Xilinx development board in here, it's not here right now, but there is the DE1. Now, if you pull it out, you'll see I. I cut some space under there that and my Xilinx development board goes in there as well. And yes, yeah, so here's my DE1 board. I paid $150 for this on DigiKey. And I accidentally selected the wrong shipping. And it was cost $75 duty fee on the borders. And ended up costing me just under $300 with tax and everything to get this uh, and that was about six years ago now actually seven years ago and when I first got it I had no idea what the hell to do with it and then uh, I started talking on uh, on different forums uh, and I used to uh, used to watch uh, Jerry Ellsworth videos and and that chatted her in the chat room and that and she she gave me some pointers and yeah so now I'm doing well with it but yeah this thing uh, it's a hundred dollars to buy but as a student I got a discount got it for 60 which was good but with the shipping uh, it cost a hundred basically with the tax and shipping and then a further twenty six dollars um, duty fee so 126 compared to 300 for that so <clears throat> it's funny actually when I originally bought this I uh, I bought an Xbox 360 the elite the elite edition which I specifically ordered because it had the uh, HDMI because uh, it didn't come standard in those days but it had the red ring of death uh, ever on it so I sent it back and Got my refund in and I got this. I think I've had more fun out of this than I have out of an Xbox. So I'm not really a fan of an Xbox. Although the buttons did die uh, after a while and I replaced them with these. Now I had trouble uh, soldering the, the on it because the this is like a four layer board or whatever. It was really hard to, to do it. I didn't have the proper tools at the time. So I basically cut the old ones off and I surface mounted these switches on. Uh, it works okay. But yeah. I like that board. It's like I said it's a Cyclone 2 on there. Which is not so bad. And it's got lots of interfaces. It's got a, I'm sorry. It's got the VGA. It's got a sound codec. It's a serial which I've never really got it working. Never used it. It's got a keyboard or mouse interface. So actually, that's the keyboard interface. You got a mod for the mouse. It's got SD card, LEDs, and buttons. <coughs> yeah, so I think I'm, I'm going to have some fun with this one. It's uh, <coughs> I haven't had a chance to get it all set up and running yet. 
Well, obviously I've just opened it. But yeah, as you can see, there's eight LEDs and two buttons. But fat finger syndrome, you know. Can't get my finger into the buttons on that. It's got some uh, some dip switches. This uh this has an accelerometer on it as well. So that's uh, it's something good to play around with. Uh, what is this? Tell me what's on the board. Okay, yeah, this, this bit of literature does. Yeah. So analog to digital converter, 50 megahertz clock, digital accelerometer, 8 LEDs, uh, 2 push buttons, uh, and a 2K RAM, a uh, 2K EEPROM. 32 megabit, megabit uh, SD RAM. Uh, on the, same thing in the back now. Yeah. All in all, a, uh, a good, uh, a good purchase. I'm, I'm very happy with it, and uh, like I said, you, you'll be seeing some more videos in the uh, in the future of um, me demonstrating some things with it. I got to make little boards to plug in because it's got the connectors on the sides, and uh, yeah, <clears throat> and uh, you know, before I sign off, I. Uh, I'll have a quick show so uh, blah, show you quickly what I've been doing. My ghetto tripod. Uh, I've been cleaning my lab out a little bit. And uh, I've just rebuilt my charger for my my Dell. I, uh, I threw the battery away a, c a couple of years back because it kept telling me that it wouldn't charge anymore. So I thought, okay, the battery's useless. It doesn't charge anymore turns out nope it's the charger there's a little tiny three-legged one wire uh, ROM chip on it a one wire communication ROM chip which tells the Dell what type of power supply it is and they're very prone to breaking but in this case the wire actually broke so I rewired it and now it's charging so I'm happy about that. But yeah, I've been tidying my lab up. I put a little shelf up for the uh, for the Rigel scope, and uh, yeah, it's starting to starting to come together. I I put my little lamp down. Hopefully, it's provided enough light for this uh, this video. But you can see there's a big difference between that light and that light. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, some more videos will be coming out soon. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.